Hey, it's Braggy for Cap with the Game. I'm here with Harry. What's going on, fellas? Ah, uh, getting along, getting along. Cooler. Cool pullover? Is that what you called there? Yeah, something like that. Um, what did you play? What did you do? Wait, oh, what is this? <laughs> Beautiful. So, um, yeah, played the OTS Champs on Sunday for Wollongong. Uh, came first, undefeated. Uh, three rounds, glorified locals, but I'll take it. Yeah. Um, uh, quick quick overview, uh, round one I played against Labyrinth, uh, lost the dice roll, 1-2-0. Uh, uh, round two played against Flunder, lost the die roll, 1-2-1. Uh, round three played against Drytron, won the die roll, 1-2-0. Nice. Um, yeah, I'll we'll jump into it. My list is a co a sort of a combination of Landon Oliver's YCS Niagara list and Jesse Cotton's list from the same event. Yeah. And just sort of tweaked my preference, so we'll start with oh, yeah. Viking stuff. We've got three... Uh, Alkanix. I wanted a good normal summon that wasn't reliant on being surged off of the OSS. I wanted to play the third of that. And then to go with it, the Kirins. Um, most lists are playing two and two. I wanted to play the three and three for additional yeah. normal summon. Uh, insane recursion. Opening these together is really good for the the um, the uh, zombie vampire. Um, lets you bridge into your other engines even better in the uh, the mirror match. Um, because you can hit your, you can hit your Snake Eye stuff and go into your Flamboge and keep playing. You can hit your Deal Bell stars and get access to your Deception and set up your Negates mid-combo. Or you just find other bodies to keep going with. If you mill an opponent's Ash Blossom, you can, you can heater it back and just keep playing. Um, so we'll move these out of the way. We've got the, the One-Ops. We've got the Honix, Avada, Garunix, and Garunix. Uh... Got to play this to summon off the Alkanix. Um, yeah. it's, an, it's another level 8, more for the zombie vampire line. Yeah, um, it's there's plenty of ways I'm breaking this step. Yeah, uh, Ponix just is half your engine, really. Avada's in the gate that you summon back, and Grunix is just insane on yes. your, your follow-ups. Uh, going into the uh, non-engine in the monsters. Um, oh, I skipped ahead. Let's, uh, oh, let's do it. I've got uh, three Ash. Three full loss and two droll. Uh, droll wasn't really too relevant today. I yep. think I cut these. Um, you'll see later in the list. I'm only playing two imperm. Uh, Forty-two card list. I think I cut this entirely. Play the third imperm. Yep. And just drop to forty-one, or maybe put in a call by. But yeah. Uh, onto the snake eye and Diabell star stuff. Uh, two Diabell star. I didn't want to play one on the chance that I get bestial on the main line because you get bestial trying to resolve the OSS. Uh, you lose access to your normal summon of Ponyx or Snake Eye Ash. Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to play three because I didn't want to see multiples. Um, yeah, it never, never really an issue. We have uh, Ash, Poplar, Oak, and Flamberge. We've got a three to one brick ratio here. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, just does what you want it to do. Um, forces interaction, especially if you open with bonfire and. You force your opponent to decide if they want to trade Ash Blossom one for one. Um, Poplar, um, I drew it once, I believe, uh, but the normal summon was fine, or just tripping it off Deception, putting it into the back row, and then sending it off of the OSS later on. Um, Oak, you don't need for the turn one combo, but since we're playing the Zombie Vampire, I wanted another chance to hit Oak because then I can send it with either the Sanctuary or the Zombie Vampire. Uh, some of the Flamboge keep going. Mm. Uh, Flamboge just puts in so much work, extra bodies, um, easy ways to trigger Sunlight Wolf. Um, a good snack. Yeah, and then also, like, again, with Zombie Vampire, if you've not been interacted with, you can you can bench a monster that your opponent has milled off of it into their spell and trap zone, and then that makes your impulse live for Nibiru. Yeah. Uh, spells, we've got uh, three Wanted, two Deception, uh, an OSS, and... Hallowed as a minnow. Oh, yes. Um, uh, three wanted is consistency. Uh, two deception because, again, you don't want to see multiples. And between the wanteds and the Diabell Stars and, again, Zombie Vampire, which actually didn't come up in the event at all. I think I think I might have done it once. Uh, even then, don't think so. Um, yeah, the, the, the secret effect to get a 3,000 life point swing never came up. Um, yeah, OSS just yeah. doing what it did. Mainly, mainly went through the, the banished search, but <clears throat> occasionally it was relevant. Um, never got bestial. Um, <laughs> uh, hallowed. Yeah, it's always good. And then we've got uh, 
three bonfires, which are just four sash blossoms. Yep. <clears throat> and then we have uh, Sanctuary, Island, and Skyburn. Um, I put Skyburn in the night before from Jesse Cotton's list. Um, just incredible in the Labyrinth matchup game one. Um, uh, not game one, but round one. Uh, didn't come up in the first game. In the second game, I got uh, hit with a different dimension ground while resolving an awkward chain link. Huh. Uh, so yeah. I, had, yeah. uh, I had Ponyx on field for resolving the effect with a Kieran and a Grunix, the, the sacred. So I just, instead of searching this and this and then not getting any value out of it off of that turn, search Skyburn, set it and pass. So I've got three three back row removal into his one back row that was still set. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then having the, the banish to protect things from being destroyed actually came up once as well. Yeah, nice. Uh, traps, just not engine. Two imperm, uh, three impulse. Uh, if you're playing a deck that can play impulse, you just have to. Um, again, in the Labyrinth matchup, using it to negate a welcome and then an ash to negate the other welcome. Just really, <laughs> really carried both of those games. Um, yeah, Imperm definitely should have been at three, but it, it was fine for this. Yeah. Um, so that's 42 cards. Only changes, yeah, cut the drolls. Um, my side deck's going to look a bit funky. We'll sort that out in a sec. Oh, yeah. Going into the links, we've got Anima for the only link one. Yep. Um... Okay, like, didn't come up in the tournament, but sometimes normal something pop low linking it off like we used to. Yes. Um, it's relevant. Uh, outs, outs, outs monsters punishes people for playing into the incorrect zones. Uh, IP and SP, you're going through these every game, just about. Yep. You've got the heater and dark. Uh, yeah, recursion. Yeah, both sitting well, they both come up. Yeah, yep. um, I didn't summon the dark at all on the weekend. Heater, probably twice or so. Yeah. Um, dark is good, especially if you're playing in the mirror match and you lose access to your hallowed because you get distilled on one of the targets. You can dark back their Ilya Sylvia or their Mura Silago if they haven't shuffled it back. Yeah. And then you can just shuffle it back into their extra deck with the hallowed engrave and get access to your stuff again. Yeah. Uh, I'm a Phoenix. Um, Outs deck locked down when you need it. Um, also, just wanted a fire that I could link yeah. into. <laughs> and, uh, with IP in the opponent's turn, if I had to summon the uh, Promethean Princess earlier than I wanted. That desperate, huh? Uh, just sometimes it's relevant. Yeah. Um, uh, Sunlight Wolf, this was a dual little Chimera the night before. I'm glad I changed it. I like dual little because it's uh, it's a link two that you can then pop with um, the field spell to recur a tributed ash blossom or uh, Kirin. yeah but you're functionally doing the same thing with the flamberge you just link off the flamberge and another monster into this immediately with the flamberge summon under the zone and recur an ash or a Kirin after you've tributed it or resolved its effect yep um, yeah if the extra deck was a bit loose I'd probably play both but uh one Promethean, I dodged the Cash Tira matchup at locals, so I didn't have to worry about it getting banished by a Unicorn. Um, again, a second would be nice, but as uh, space is tight as it is, except some losses. Uh, Ambler Whale, yep. um, this is your main end piece with the Arvada. Arvada pops this, uh, then you can trigger your uh, this engrave to summon back the IP and the Garunix to summon Good to back. see you back, babe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Raging Phoenix, Zealantis, I've not resolved this at all uh, since I've been playing the Viking variant because your monster's already big enough. Uh, for the Ixies, we have uh, Zombie Vampire and uh, Grunix. Yep. Um, yeah, didn't didn't come up on Sunday. Um, knowing my locals and just knowing that I've got a chance to play against Kashira every night, I think I want this to be a kick in a, a, kick in a gushy future, the bird. Yeah. Um, because if they shift to you, you can just go normal Alkanix, pop a fire, add Ponix, make Alkanix a level one as part of the effect. Special Ponix, search, sanctuary, keep it in hand for follow up, make Kikanashi in past turn. Um, oh, that's a vampire. Yeah. Vampire or bird, you gotta pick. And then we've got the uh, this came up uh, once in the in the final game. Um, opponent started committing to the board with Drytron stuff and just being able to uh, just quick summon to this with the sanctuary. Uh, board wiping and just leaving them on their resources and then we've just got the the Moody ah. Blue Argo and Ilya Sylvia uh, go through this most games but some games if you hard open Hallowed with Wanted it's just free value you can just jam straight into this and just play play out your hand um, into the side deck yeah. uh, there's a pretty substantial I say substantial um, uh, thrust board 
because uh, I was happy with the hand traps in the main and I just wanted to know that if I got interacted with I could just help skip my opponent's turns yep. um, and then we've got a one of talents for going second so usually I'd cut like a bonfire and an oak going second because I'm trying to just play into the boards better um, I can then still thrust four bonfire as an extender if I need to if they keep monsters on board yep. uh, just turn skipping opponents and tend to sk uh, turn skip me um, there was a chance someone played Tenpai um, <laughs> but it never came up oh, I've also got the uh, Harpy's Feather Duster yeah which is um, uh, I hard drew it against Labyrinth um, and that was, that was nice <laughs> nice um, a little bit more Labyrinth hate yeah, back there and I've got Cosmos oh all three yeah yeah I wanted yeah. to play all three um, got people playing the mirror so I wanted something to snipe the Fire King Island um, and I wanted something that would interact with the Centurion field spell because yep. um yeah, just trying to thrust for a Harpy's Feather Duster. He respects at that point. Kurt. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's the matchup I've lost the most. So and then we have got uh, three Perulia. Um, good. Uh, usually, oftentimes I'd just side out. Like if I'm new, I'm going second. I'd side out. Maybe I think I sided out the Drolls and the Nimperm. Yeah. Because I knew that I'd rather just see more engine or the hand traps that are already in the deck. Yeah. Um, Sometimes I kept the Droll in, like against the Drytron matchup, that made more sense to me, so I kept the Droll in. If I got one or two draws and then draw both of us, I'm still in a winning position. Uh, one of Dogwood, I, I had a space, like there was originally a second Dogwood in here and I took it out. Uh, I think the Dogwood just becomes a third D barrier, just so okay, if I yeah. don't see it off a thrust, I can yeah. just, if I just hard open it. But again, I'd never put these in, so yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, Congratulations. Well done. Pretty yeah. mad. Yeah, can't complain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for joining us. Uh, subscribe. We'll be on the pods eventually. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Bye.